All right, guys, so I just received an email just now saying that FedEx just dropped a package off on my front door, which is gonna be the new vending machine that we're gonna put at our new uh, Dixie Farm location uh, for my vending machine business. So let's go ahead and show you guys. And in this video, I talk about building what's called a triple head bulk candy machine and installing it at the new location I got. But I wanted to go a step above for you guys and show you what I actually make the following month from that same said location. So stay tuned. There it is. I know it doesn't look that special, but there she is. So, what this is is a bolt candy machine, it's a rhino. Uh, let's go ahead and see if I can do some editing here. Ready? One, two, three. And there we go. A rhino triple head. This is what it looks like. Um, I set my coin mechanisms to 25. The access panel is in the back here. And I would turn it, but I'm not strong enough. This is actually going to be my third bolt candy location. I make on average about $50 each, and I'm going to be trying to uh, get into full line eventually here. I'm gonna be making my first full line purchase, and I've already set up the location with the business owner. Um, I actually had to go there and show them my LLC. They wanted to see my LLC documents, um, and they wanted me to be insured and bonded as well. Um, so I produced all those documents, and. They said, okay, you know, we wanted a vending machine for a while. Because um, you know, it's no money out of their pocket. Keep in mind, I'm the one buying it. So they were like, well, we were going to buy one anyways, you know. It'd be cool if you were the one who'd pay for it. And I was like, well, sure, that's fine. Because I'm going to make a revenue from it as well. Even though maybe only a small amount of it will be profit. Because I'm actually financing my first machine. But we'll go ahead and I'll put this together and show you guys when I'm done. collection today uh, actually if I look a little sweaty that's because I just did a collection um, at a location where they don't uh, want me to be recording but I usually do record all my collections so I can have objective uh, information to go back to see how much revenue was made for each month versus the cost of the candy and the snacks to put in the full line vending machines the drinks everything else uh, I'm going to be going down to one of my locations, which is a nail salon in Pearland. I'm going to show you guys what the revenue from that is, and I'm going to show you guys how much I make a month from that. So I wanted to give you a full breakdown here for the nail salon location that we were just at from the dates of April the 1st to April the 8th. We would make around a total revenue of $9.25 that you just saw in that video. Now keep in mind this doesn't sound that fantastic until you realize this is one week of revenue. The overall material costs were only a dollar and 21 cents so i want you to realize the cash on cash return of these bulk candy machines is better than you probably think it is and for the and for the last month from the first to the 30th we made a 36 we made 36 dollars in revenue and only eight dollars of material costs to afford that 36 dollars in revenue which is phenomenal that is a 400 percent return a month 
This is better than Turo, guys. This is better than my four vehicles I have on Turo, which make me around or almost $1,000 in profit per vehicle, and I host four vehicles on the platform. I now have the ability, and it has been a life-changing experience, to sit at my home and do basically nothing all day. Cool. In my time, I have seen these younger individuals on YouTube make tons of money from these vending machines, and the vending machine only cost me $170, as you just saw. It truly blew my mind when I made almost one-third the cost of the machine in revenue the first 30 days it was at the nail salon location. I have been shown that this business model is incredibly lucrative, and I will continue to try to scale it. Well guys, I'm driving, so <clears throat> I don't want to make uh, too long of a video here, but there you go, it's, it's that easy. That's one of my bulk locations. Uh, I currently have five locations throughout the Pearland area. Uh, this collection actually went pretty good. Uh, believe it or not, guys, uh, there was about 10 or 15 bucks in there, which doesn't sound that good until you realize uh, the last time I was here was about seven days ago. So that bulk candy machine makes almost somewhere in between 60 to 80 bucks a month. I wouldn't say 100 bucks a month because that's way too high. And of course, you have to account for the candy that I'm putting back in the machine. But of course, the candy that I'm putting back in the machine is just one or two dollars. It, it's it's virtually, it's, for, it's, it's negligible in the total re revenue that I'm making. So there you go, guys. It's really not that hard. Um, and surprisingly, guys, once you get like four bulk candy machines in your local hometown, you'll already be making like 200 or 400 bucks a month. Now, we're gonna talk about the full line machines and I'm gonna show you one of my full line machine locations. And how much revenue you make from a full snack machine, a full size, what's called, what's called in the community a full line machine. Um, that's where we're gonna be going next. This is a collection day and then the vending location and show you how much I make at the end of the month from all of them. Uh, stay tuned, I hope you enjoy it.